What's up YouTube? Jordan here. Coming at you from the barbecue. Cooking some chicken. Uh, thighs and legs attached. Smoking on my brand new Bulldog. Just finished this one uh, last night. Just did a video about it. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, a little bit of a frustrating shape for me. Not really the shape, but more just the... Anyways, go check the video out. And tonight I got McBaron Dark Twist in it. This pipe is smoking really well. Really nice draw. I mean, part of the draw is par partly how you pack it as well, but it's a really nice draw on it based on the way I pack normally. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's been smoking really good. This is only the third bowl out of it, so it's still kind of breaking in. I don't do anything special to break in my pipes. Pack some pack some backy and let it rip so I don't know I I don't have good flavor or taste buds I guess so I don't notice the briar taste when I'm smoking maybe I do a bit I don't know I don't I don't really it doesn't bother me anyways so doing a video uh, VR to blue line the blue line pipe um, he's got a 200 sub giveaway going. Congrats on the subs. And uh, the giveaway looks awesome, man, right on. So he asked us uh, what our top three favorite blends are. Now, I haven't been smoking the pipe long. And for me, tobacco is quite expensive locally. So I don't buy a lot of tins. Um, I buy online, but I can only buy limited stuff because out of Canada websites and stuff I get hit with customs and it's pretty expensive so I don't uh, have a ton of experience with ton tons of different blends um, maybe 15 or 20 at most kind of thing and some of those are really garbagey kind of aromatics that I smoked early on that I really don't like anymore at all But my top three blends, starting with number one, but the but number two is a real close second, and only because I've only had uh, a little bit of it. But number one is uh, Dark Twist. It's really good, smooth. I don't know, it's just a very good all-around blend. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, uh, this is a filtered pipe. I generally have been smoking the filtered pipes more so lately. Um, so uh, that's what I'm smoking right now, Dark Twist in this filtered one. Uh, I'm, I'm just finding the flavors are coming a little bit better, less spicy, or less um, tongue bite uh, with the filter, so. I still don't mind a non-filtered pipe for some uh, of the aromatics I do smoke, but um, that's besides the point. So the second one on the list, and like I said, it's a real close second and possibly going to be moving tied to first or into first, is the Peter Stokeby's Bullseye, Luxury Bullseye. Um, it's, that's a really good tobacco. So I don't have a ton of experience with it, only one tin worth, I guess. Um, I got more on order, but, uh, yeah, that one is a, is a close second to Dark Twist, and I only say Dark Twist is number one because I've been smoking it right from the get-go, and I really like it. Um, Dark Twist has a really good room note for not an aromatic. It, uh, it's tolerable anyways, uh, for my wife. 
who has a very picky sense to the tobacco smoke. She's not a big fan of it, even though she does like cigars. She likes cigar smoke better, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Dark Twist is a very good room note. The uh, Luxury Bullseye is not as good, but it is pretty good. Um, it's a little bit more sour as a room note, I find anyways, in my shop, which has mixed smells to begin with, because there's cars in there and all sorts of stuff. But from what I know in my shop, I like the room note of it uh, as well. And then my third favorite uh, all-time blend would have to be uh, Amphora Virginia. It's a sweeter Virginia, in my opinion anyways. The bag note's quite apple -y. And the room note though isn't the best. It's okay, but it's not the best. Um, but it's, it's one of my go-to ones. I break in most of my pipes with Amphora Virginia because I don't find it ghosts at all. It's sweeter. I guess it masks, like I don't, like I said, find tons of briar taste in it. When I'm breaking in a pipe, I just, whatever. Um, but the Virginia, the M4 of Virginia has a really good taste no matter when I smoke it. Brand new pipe, old pipe. Even smoking it in kind of a ghosted pipe, I've, I've used that and uh, still tastes right. So. So those are my three favorite. Um, go check them out. M4 of Virginia is pretty cheap. Um, Dark Twist's a bit more expensive, and Peter Stokebee's Luxury Bullseye is real cheap. Like I can't even remember, but I think like an ounce is three bucks or something like that. So, so go check it out. Um, and uh, thanks for the giveaway. Giveaway, Gaw. Uh, and congrats again on the sub, subs. Holy, if I could talk tonight. Anyways, bugs are really bad. I'm gonna check on my chicken. You guys have a wonderful evening. Take care, bye-bye.